So what is the Power Platform CLI? Power Platform CLI is a command line interface. It allows developers, uh, independent software vendors, uh, etc., to perform operations on Dataverse solutions, authentication, packages, uh, code components, uh, portals, environments, uh, tools, etc., within the Power Platform environment. It is also known as PAC CLI. Now, why would anyone use Power Platform CLI? Now, uh, you know, in Power Platform CLI, everything happens in a command line. So technically, you don't get a GUI for it. Okay, You do not have a user interface. There are many scenarios whereby you may need to automate some activity, like creation of a site uh, on, say, specific schedule, or creation of site based on some, uh, say, prompt or some request. Now, this all things can be automated by running some command line uh, commands uh, with some arguments and then giving it to some scheduler or some shell process to execute it indefinitely or, or at some defined intervals. Automation of solutions, uh, creation of pipelines for your application lifecycle management uh, activities. So these are the different use cases through which you will be uh, making use of Power Platform CLI. So uh, first thing, what you need to do is like you need to install Power Platform CLI, which I'm going to cover in an, another video. Uh, but I'll show you how the Power Platform CLI looks like. Now I'm in a command prompt. So this is how uh, you execute Power Platform CLI. So uh, if the Power Platform CLI is installed, you just need to type in, say, command call as pack. Okay. The moment you do that, it will give you a list of all the commands available within the pack. And it will also give you uh, the, the version number of uh, Power Platform CLI. So mine is 1.23.4 1 plus some number. Okay. And here you will see all these different commands like admin, application, auth, PCF, pipeline. So these are various uh, capabilities provided by Power Platform CLI to automate uh, some of your uh, task, which does not require a UI. Okay. Now, I have installed Power Platform CLI, and that's why I will be able to uh, execute from a command prompt. Now, uh, so take for example, if you have say VS Code. Okay. So let me open VS Code. So I have this VS Code open now. Now in VS Code as well, I have uh, uh, added this Power Platform CLI. So I'm also going to show you in my next video, like how to add that in Visual Studio Code as well. So in Visual Studio Code, if you go to uh, Terminal, uh, and if it is installed, then it will, uh, and if you type the same thing, like PAC, then it will give you a list of uh, you know, actions which you can perform using Power Platform CLI, okay? Now, uh, there, there are various things which you can check uh, in your uh, uh, tenant or in your organization, like uh, what are the Dataverse organizations I have or what are the uh, various environments I have. Uh, so those all things can also be listed using Power Platform CLI. So that's it, folks. Uh, this is a brief introduction about Power Platform CLI. And I'll see you uh, in my next video with some more advanced topics. Thank you.